There are times in the military, also in the Navy, you need to go to the local barracks or the local um, center where they store their um, arms and also where there are provisions. If it happened in the past that, let's say you had a group of 10 soldiers and they had to walk 20 kilometers to go to the nearest barracks, every soldier had to carry their bag with provisions. Well, bag. It was really, they really carried things on their back, for real, and it was quite heavy. But the soldiers had to encourage one another so they wouldn't faint, because if they would pay much attention to how long they still had to go, with in mind the heaviness of what they carried with them, they would faint mentally, and that would lead to them fainting physically. Or let's say someone works at a factory, but though the malnutrition, because they're not allowed to have breaks, they're not even allowed to um, eat a lot during uh, the day, some of the employees faint and they end up in the hospital and to die. What happens now? The local minister is upset about what happened and he pressures the prosecutors to prosecute that, uh, that factory. In both cases, there was fainting. With the soldiers, the fainting was delayed because they encouraged one another. In the factory, there was no encouragement, so people fainted directly. Now, this is not about the military, nor about having sufficient breaks at work. You should have. It's about encouraging you, believers. Do not faint. In the military, you receive provisions from the general and you are expected to be wise with the provisions and to ensure for the sake of the fatherland or for the sake of the emperor or the king or the republic whatever deity they construct for you in a factory or in any company where you work they need to provide you with shelter the work needs to take place in a safe environment and you they need to provide breaks for you so that you can recharge because you're not a machine you're a human being why are they giving breaks so you wouldn't fade at work both in the military as well in the corporate world they do it for self-standard reasons there is a purpose that they want to use you for therefore they need you to be in a healthy condition well health they need you to be in a functional condition when it comes to the kingdom of God, it's not about you being in a functional pos uh, position. Because the kingdom of God is not about taking something from you, it's about giving you something for you to walk in. And when you walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, you will be resisted, you will be, um, I'm sorry, you will become a target. And it can overwhelm you, it can. Especially if you have a lack of knowledge. But Christ said, faint not when it comes to prayer. Prayer that includes the Christian declarations are your most uh, is your most powerful weapon but many don't realize it and that's why Christ used that parable of that unjust judge and that poor widow that challenged that unjust judge and eventually that judge had to comply with that poor widow or else he would be in trouble you know what Christ is making plain here you need to be far more streetwise with people in this world, especially with common people. The authorities need to look out with them because they worship the beast Apollo, they do blood sacrifice, make blood, all kinds of weird crap they're doing behind the scenes. Sometimes they're open about it, sometimes not. The authorities need to look, look out for. But the common folks that enable and tolerate those authorities, they can be far more dangerous to you as a believer. You know why? Because they are the wolves amongst whom Christ sent you. When Christ was talking about the wolves, he wasn't just referring to those authorities like Caesar or the king or the government or the police or whatever. He was referring to common people. Be street wise. Be practical. Faint not. Keep on praying. Agree with Christ and be at peace.